Why was Cinderella so bad at tennis? Because her coach was a pumpkin. Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna ignore that joke. But anyway, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys three ways on three ways on how to paint a pumpkin. So without further ado, let's get started. The first pumpkin that I'm gonna teach you how to make is a scarecrow pumpkin. For this, I just used some artist loft paint in the colors red, black, yellow, and some orange. And I used a plate to act as my palette. To start off, I took some black paint and a very small brush to make some small crescent eyes. After I did the eyes, I worked on a nice and happy smile. I left a small gap in the smile to show that the scarecrow was missing one of its tooth. Then I added more lines like how scarecrows had them. In between those lines, I waited till the paint dried, cleaned my brush, and added yellow smaller lines on top of the black. The first time the lines didn't come out as dark as I liked them, so I made them a darker yellow color. For the nose of the scarecrow, I'm using a lighter pink color and making a kind of triangle shape with rounded edges. You can see here that I also switched for a darker shade of pink. Now for the bright red puffy cheeks of the scarecrow, I took our dark red and made small circles, um, which would be the cheek. To show the nose a little bit more, I added a black outline on them. Lastly, I took some yellow and made some hay hair, um, hair, hair, hay that is made out of hair. The pumpkin is a little out of the camera, but I just added some light yellow freckles on the pumpkin. And this is it for the scarecrow pumpkin. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really fun and it came out as a nice and cute face and an easy craft to do on Halloween. Now onto the second pumpkin. For this, for this pumpkin, I'm doing a Halloween design, which consists of ghosts, some bats, and some shapes. For this design, I would recommend using a light color so the designs really show. And remember, it doesn't have to be blue and you can let your creativity and imagination shine. One tip that I would like to give you is not to use liquid paint. This made the paint not vibrant on the pumpkin. Also remember that this will take multiple coats, so don't be upset if it doesn't work on the first try. After the coats dried, I took a pink color and made some ghosts with them. I added about three ghosts, but it is up to you to, to decide the shapes, the colors, and the sizes of them. Next, I'm just adding some red squiggly lines all over the pumpkin. Now I'm doing a bat, and the head of a bat is basically an M, and the sides are, or the wings, are some L shapes, and on the bottom we have some bumped lines. Finally, I added some yellow triangles, some glitter, and eyes on the ghosts. For my third pumpkin, I already pa painted the base coat blue, and this pumpkin is a spider theme. And you know how pumpkins have those lines between them? I don't know exactly what they're called, but I can use them to make spider webs and act as guidelines for them. 
I added another coat of white to the lines to make them more vibrant. Here I'm adding kind of like a C shape between every single one of the lines and I'm doing four, actually three rows of them. And what goes on spider webs? Well that's of course a spider. Looking at it now, the spider kind of looks like the number eight with four legs or lines on each side. I added one big spider, one little spider, and some glitter to finish off this pumpkin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was fun to watch. You can comment down below which pumpkin you liked or did. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween!